I figured I'd come out here and try it again. If it don't work, then it don't work. But already I'm seeing more coverage than I was seeing the first time. Hey Sis Yang, welcome or welcome back to another Slay with Stushy. So today I'm bringing you guys a new video. I'm actually going to be trying out the Fenty Ease Drop Skin Tint, Blurring Skin Tint again with you guys. The first time that I tried it, I wasn't all that overjoyed, I, it, but it wasn't really doing what I wanted it to do. But I figured I'd try another technique with you guys because I did go ahead and watch other videos after or other reviews after making my initial review. So I'm going to give it another go. I did try it again after doing the initial review with you guys, but I wasn't able to do my full face I really just slapped it on to go to work really quickly instead of applying all my foundation and everything but I want to get the full experience all over again and I want to try a different technique with you guys so that's what we're gonna be doing today so if you're interested in seeing how this works out for me the second time around the second go around then keep on watching if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below we're almost at 5k so make sure you guys subscribe down below make sure you also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy content like this and if you have any questions any comments anything that you want to let me know feel free to comment it down below I'm always around to continue the conversation and don't be scared I feel like y'all be scared to comment drop something down below say what's up search how you doing I'll respond back to you so without any further ado let's go ahead and get right into it so if you guys haven't checked out my initial review of the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint then I highly recommend you guys check it out I'll leave it linked up above but I do want to let you guys know that I got the shade 20 if you don't remember from that video I do have the shade 20 I've already primed my skin today I'm going to be using Ooh, get out of get. while patchy pulls himself together Today I'm going to be using another beauty sponge. I did use my DSMD beauty sponge in the initial review, but, but my good sis Tyra has been using her Juno sponge. Sometimes you'll use a sponge and you'll see that all of the makeup got sucked into the sponge. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Juno sponges, Juno sponges prevent that from happening. So I'm gonna use my Juno sponge. She did use the blue one, I have the pink one. They're pretty much the same, so I'm gonna use my pink one. So my plans, my thoughts in this video are to apply the skin tint i know a lot of people well they recommend fenty beauty recommends that you use your fingers to blend it in i was never doing that that's why i didn't do it in the initial review so i'm going to be using this blending sponge because i figured that's the closest thing to your fingers not really but kind of sorta so enough chit chat let's go ahead and get right into it and then i do plan on using my pro filter foundation the powder foundation from fenty beauty just to get any more coverage that i feel like i might need let's go ahead and apply it and again, I have tried this ease drop after doing the initial review, but I've only been doing like half my face. I literally do from my nose up whenever I'm going to work because I have to wear a mask. And I've just been slapping it on. I haven't really had the time to sit down and do my makeup. When I'm going to work, girl, I'm just throwing stuff on just so I can get out the door. I'm just going to spray my Juno sponge because I wet it a little while ago. And let's see, don't mind my nails as well. I'm missing a pinky over here. I'm missing a thumb over here. Mind your business. <laughs> I need to reapply them. These are press-ons. Yay, you know it. Let's go ahead and blend. So as you guys see, I'm getting way more coverage than I felt like I was getting with the DSMD, but I don't know. I just figured I'd watch more reviews, and that's why sometimes it's nice to watch stuff on YouTube, but I didn't want to watch anything prior to recording my video because then it wouldn't be my, you know, honest thoughts and opinions because I might have been jaded. <laughs> the term I'm using Drake's term just by seeing what other people were seeing in their videos. So I figured I'd come out here and try it again. If it don't work, then it don't work. But already I'm seeing more coverage than I was seeing the first time I feel like. I still see that spot, but I feel like the first time she was showing her booty. And if anything, I could always go in with the powder foundation and cover it up, but I didn't really want to do that in the initial review because I wanted to just show you guys how the product performed on its own, like what coverage it was given. But let's see let's see let's see and i might be able to test the sweat proof as well because if you guys again did did watch my initial review then you guys know that i said my nose was kind of holding up but let's see how the entire face holds up because i think i might actually be going outside today so i'll get to see how that works i don't know if i'm gonna include it in this but it might be in an upcoming vlog because i am also vlogging today so i'll pop in and in that vlog and let you guys know how the face is holding up so that's that again maybe i might switch it for 21 if they have 21 in store i'll switch it for 21 
because this is looking cool but I feel like by the time the summer rolls up and your girl is gonna be outside this summer by the time the summer rolls up on us I'm gonna be darker and this is not gonna work it's gonna be too light for me so I'm just gonna go ahead and do all my cream steps and then I'll be back I'll insert some music and then I'll be back once I'm applying my powders just to show you guys how I would, you know, go on with the Fenty Beauty powder foundation. Okay, so face is blended. So far, this is how we're looking. We look kind of good. NGL, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm going in with 420, the powder foundation, and I'm just gonna press this everywhere else, so around the areas that I actually highlighted or set my powder. And I'm kinda going on top of the translucent powder as well. Okay, so this is how the face is looking. Let me take a look at it. My nose is starting to sweat. I don't know, it might have been the primer I used the last time. I think I used the um, Pro Filter Primer. Hold up. Okay, I think I used the Pro Filter Primer from Fenty Beauty the last time. Lips, get it together. Okay, hold up. Okay, that's better, sorry y'all. But I think I used the Pro Filter Primer from Fenty Beauty the last time. This time I used the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum, so that could be why, but I don't know. Sometimes my nose holds up. It really just depends on the day. She does her own thing. She's her own person at this point. If you know, you know. So my eyelashes are looking kind of crazy because my individuals are still falling out. They're still, some of them are still hanging on by the follicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lashes. I think I'm actually gonna pop on the style Stush from my lash business, Capra NYC, if you're new here. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts once again on the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Okay. So, final thoughts. Final thoughts on this bad boy. This Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So, honestly, I like how my face looks now than it did in my initial review, there's a hair on my nose. I like how my face looks now compared to how it did in my initial review. I feel like I don't see as many of my dark spots. I have a pigmentation as much. My skin, oh, I didn't set. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't set with no things, right, right?
I just used my Milani Make It Last to set my face down. So again, I like how it looks now compared to how it did in my initial review. But not going to lie, I, st I feel like I use this as a foundation. So do I need this? If Do I need this if I have foundations that... I can use being that this isn't making sense I feel like I use this as a foundation compared to as a skin tint where I feel like I didn't need to do you know a lot of concealing and everything I feel like my face looks like I might have used another one of my foundations like I use the soft matte like I feel like that's what it's giving me the soft matte pro filter foundation when that comes in a glass bottle I feel like that's what I used it feels super light it feels like nothing is on my skin but I have other foundations that feel like I'm not using any foundation so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. I honestly I do like how my face looks compared to how it looked in my initial review. But I don't know if I need this. Like I'm a person that I have to I have a lot of makeup. Do I need this? Will I be picking it up often enough where I feel like I need to keep it? I don't know. I'm gonna ponder on that thought. I don't know. I will also say that my nose is sweating. Let me see if I can come up real close so y'all can see. Y'all probably can't see. But my nose is sweating, so I don't know if it's sweat resistant or sweat proof. Because my nose is definitely sweating. So I can only imagine like, if I were to go outside and you know go about my daily activities, my daily routine, I might ha not have any makeup on my nose. But that just could be my body chemistry. Like my nose sweats through pretty much everything. But I like it. I do like it. I will not lie about that. I like how it looks after using it along with the Fenty Beauty powder foundation but this gives you the coverage that you're looking for so that could be why I like it a little bit more and again it feels like nothing is on my skin I just don't know if I need it being that I have so many other foundations that I can use because I feel like I use this as a foundation hopefully that's making sense but she is cute I feel like still my opinions has been changed from the initial review I feel like you should still give it a try if you wanted to try a tinted moisturizer or if you just wanted to test this out because how it may perform on my skin it may perform differently on your skin so I definitely say to give it a go again I do like it more than I liked it in my initial review so I will note that but that's why it's important for you to try things out more than once. Sometimes I'll use products that I love and I'm just like, I'm not feeling this look because it could have been the routine. It could have been how I applied it. It could have been what I used to apply it. So again, I used a different sponge to apply it and I feel like it definitely helped to give me more coverage compared to the DSMD sponge, which is somewhere around here, girl. But I feel like if you want to get more coverage from this product, from the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint, then definitely use a Juno sponge to get the most coverage out of the product. But this is how the face is looking. A lot of you guys were saying your face looks great. Your skin looks great in the initial review. And I felt like it looked okay. I feel like it looks better today. And again, I have to tell y'all, the camera washes out of a lot of the texture I feel like in our skin. So behind the scenes, behind this camera, I know what it looks like. But yeah, it definitely looks better than it looked in my initial review. So that's it that's all i have for today let me know again how you guys are feeling about the eavesdrop blurring skin tint let me know how you guys think it looks on me today all the products that i use today will be linked down below so you guys can check them out if you guys were interested and i also want to know if you guys have picked up the eavesdrop blurring skin tint before is actually having their spring savings event right now so you can get it on sale so check that out if you guys haven't already and you are a beauty insider and you want to get it at a discounted price and now's the time to get it thank you guys again for watching today's video if you enjoyed make sure you leave your girl a big thumbs up subscribe Subscribe down below on the road to 5k on the road to 5k on the road to 5k so make sure you guys subscribe down below and make sure you also turn on your post notifications so that way you're alerted whenever I upload the next video thank you guys for rocking with me today thank you guys for stopping back in to talk about the ease drop once again and until the next video I'll see you guys all later bye guys Let me get my life together right quick. Right quick. Right quick. If it don't work, I'm bringing it right back to Sephora, okay? But if you're interested in seeing how it works out for me, and I use my Milani, I just use my Milani. <clears throat> what the hell? I just use my. <laughs>